Uh, hope we don't derail. We're almost ready to go. We first need to set up our locomotives for lead and trailing. After the change of direction, before departure, we also need to reconnect, or sorry, recontact the dispatcher. How is everyone doing today? Welcome back to Lucero Gaming. This is our final and third episode of the uh, Thompson to Potash series. So, Let's uh, finally get these loads out of here. If you're just joining us and this is your first time watching this video, there is two other videos before this and it's from Thompson to Seven Mile, which is video one. Video two is from Seven Mile to Potash. So uh, if you do need to go back and watch it, I will leave a link to the playlist down below or on the iCard so again pause this video go check out those two first and then come back and finish it up here alright so it looks like we need to go back to the rear locomotive and get everything cut in and then we should be ready to go alright deactivate the control system Yep see here uh, let's put it in trail because if you leave it in uh, trail 6 or 26 if for some reason sometimes it leaks so you'll hear the air in the lead locomotive just hissing so I usually put everything to trail 24 I don't know why it does that and then uh, handle off everything else looks good the cabinet Obviously, um, it wants us to get into that next one, but we're going to put um, radio. Um, we don't need the warning devices in this guy, and we need to run. And again, these are for your headlights. Uh, we need it to go this way, controlled from a new unit coupled at either end. And this one is ready to go. Now, uh, back to our head end. Okay. So, before we sit down, we're going to do this uh, controlling with unit coupled at long hood end and um, number lights since this is our lead. We'll get our track warrant written for this guy. Uh, radio, and I love to love, I love to run with uh, warning devices. So that's the alerter. Makes it more realistic. Alright, we'll leave that on. And now we will flip these up. Fit the reverser in. Let's go with headlight on the front. Medium. Put that to full. Release. I don't need no tutorial. I got this. Ditch lights. And cage lights. Alright, uh, engineer train loading 51 to Union Pacific Dispatcher. We have our train at Potash and are ready to pull northbound VI Cane Creek Branch. Union Pacific Dispatcher to the loading 51. You are issued track warrant clearance to proceed from Potash northbound to Brendel. As you approach Brendel, contact me for mainline clearance. Dispatcher out. Alright. So my understanding is we got clearance all the way from Potash to Brendel and uh, let's see, uh, we're cleared to pull out. We don't have any work to do along the way and should expect a clear run to Thompson. As always, mind the manual switches. Well, they should be set for us. Uh, we can go double check that guy over there. But before I got cut off, so we're going to job brief and pretty much our goal is to get to Brendel and that's where we should land up to our first signal. So all of this uh, subdivision between Brendel and Potash is dark territory. So that means it's all track warrant and control. All right, UP 1754, release everything. Releasing. 
Good release. Give me the independent again. Independent. Oh, that's a good set. Release him. All right, that's a good release. Uh, give me 10 pounds. All right, there's your 10 pounds. Good set. Bail them. Good release. And give me another 10. All right, there's your 10. Good set. 1754, release everything. Releasing. All right, 1754, that is a good release. Good local test. Uh, let me get back to the, the hook and uh, get out of here. 1754 water. We're lined up for the main. We're in the clear. Whenever you're ready, let's start a main head. We got clearance from dispatch. So finally, we are done with the series. Um, it's going to take a little bit on my end to get this train back, but no need to worry. I'm going to do my best to make it as um, fun and enjoyable for you guys to watch. So it's going to take uh, at least probably an hour and a half or so. So do give this video a thumbs up. It helps to support the video and channel. So while we're following the yard, we can leave this switch line like this. And let's get back up in the cab. Well, welcome to Seven Mile.
Alright, so let's call dispatch. Uh, proceed as signals indicate. So we are still good to go. And here's this crossing. Okay, um, I want to say I see a green over red, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it looks like it's green over red, and uh, that is a clear signal, so that means we are clear to pass that signal, and we should be fine. So that's where the fun begins, finally get to pick up speed, and dealing with signals. Yep, here comes the other crossing. And uh, once again, uh, we have no conductor. I guess they're gonna be waiting there in the yard for us. But it looks like we finally are hitting flat ground. And so we should be having another signal. Yep. So you see that there's two signals, right? One to the left, one to the right of the track. It, the one that governs us, the one that's, that controls us is the right side. So if, even if you're on the track to the left, it's gonna be that one in the middle, okay? So again, we got green over red. That means we are clear to pass. And it looks once like once we get onto the main line, we should be uh, good to bump up uh, the speed up to 60. So we're almost about a mile and a half from our stop, and definitely after doing this long day of moving this train I definitely do not want to fail it so again we're still good on our signals and so this one should be a solid yellow over red I hope if it's double red we're done we're screwed Alright, so yep, solid over red, and approach diverging, is what that signal means, and uh, proceed, prepare to advance on diverging route at next signal at prescribed speed through the turnout, and the turnout is obviously the frog or the switch. That's what we took to go from the main to now the uh, switching lead or the siding. I thought you were going to go. So, so here's Thompson. We got civilization. We pretty much drove through the desert. I wonder where the depot's at. Got a water jug station right there. Looks like that might be the track department's little shed. Got some rail. Some more homes on that side. Awesome. Well, we'll kick it down and Try to bring this down to at least 10 miles an hour. Let's put a just a little set on it. And we'll kick it off right there. And we'll let it coast. Okay, it kind of seems like once we hit this curve, we're going to have to go kind of downhill. That's what it looked like to me. Uh, let's see. Does it... That uh, doesn't tell us if we can pass. But you can see that we are 
red. Uh, it's single red, right? That looks like single red. And we're gonna creep up there. There's not very many that uh, gap between the stop point and that signal. So if you pass that signal, you're you're done. Yeah, it's a it's a red, so that means stop. Just like in real life, like uh, driving a vehicle at a stoplight. All right, so now we're gonna go full service. Just like that, perfect. All right, looks like we are, we'll have to wait here for a bit. You have reached the end of the three part scenario in the, in the real world train loading 51. Continues the run to Grand Junction, Utah from where the potash will be sent onto its destination. Hey, they answered my question. Where's it gonna go after this? Well, that, that's it. Awesome. Um, complete King Creek scenario. Okay. Definitely, if you made it this far, please give it a thumbs up. You can see it took us two hours, well, it took me two hours and 21 minutes to get this video done. Uh, 41 miles driven, 406 yards walked, and a silver medal. I was hoping to get more, but I guess not. Well, that will conclude this uh, Thompson to Potash series. And until next time, we'll see you all later.